Hey everybody, this is Russ Carson Jr., one of the genealogists here at Family Tree Nuts, and we're doing our last live video of the day. We are in rural Clark County, Kentucky. We are a couple of miles uh, upriver from uh, Ford, Kentucky, and we're along uh, uh, Two Mile Creek right here. And I'm with a special guest. Do you want to tell them who you are? My name's Amanda Thompson Hughes, and I'm uh, my family's self-proclaimed family historian. Awesome, awesome. Now, we've done videos of today of uh, lots of different places of yeah, your family. We have. Um, this, is a, this is a unique story that we're at here. So, uh, we're along this creek bank. Why did you bring me to this creek bank? Well, my two times great-grandfather was fatally shot somewhere around here. We're only a little bit up from the Kentucky River, and this was his property. That's why we're here, because he was fatally shot in 1884. 1884. Now, I want you to think back. That's about the time of uh, Little House in the Prairie. That's said about that time period right there. So you can imagine what everybody looked like back then. Now, he was fatally shot. So what's the story here? What happened? Well, we're not really sure what happened. And okay. the first time that I actually even knew about this, sure. and I've been doing my own family history for over 20 years sure. was actually I found a death notice for my three times great grandmother, yeah. Mahela Horn Thompson. Okay. And um, in that, it said that uh, she only had one son surviving right. and that the youngest one was shot here 12 years ago. Right. And I was like, wait, what's, what's yeah. this about? Sure, sure. Um, and that so, happens to be your own, your branch. Correct. You know, yeah, you, that you is know. my direct branch. And so I started asking some questions to cousins and most of them said that they didn't know what I, you know, aunts, uncles, that sort of thing. And sure. Aunts, uncles, and most of them said that they didn't know what I was talking about, that they had right. never heard this story. But there was one right. that said, oh yeah, I know all about that. Based on what she told me, I started doing more research and I found a very short newspaper article sure. is the only reference in any sort so of two, record. Two sentences, I Two think. sentences, yeah, yeah that so. just said that Richard Thompson fatally shot by a, a gentleman along Two Mile Creek and both men were reportedly drunk. And there you go, that's all it said. Alcohol and firearms, right? Yeah. So, but uh, we looked for records of uh, where they, was there court records? Was he charged? Was he arrested? You know, didn't find anything. Didn't find anything. I looked at Clark County Courthouse, you know, to the clerk of courts to see what they had. I drove to, to Frankfurt to see what was in the um, the archives, right. you know, and, the, and stuff that they had. I went to AKU Library to look at all the newspaper microfish, right. you know, all of those sorts of things. And the only thing I was able to find was Mahela's death notice and then a, a little snippet out of a Mount Sterling newspaper. Okay. Yeah, that little newspaper that you found. And I think that... Uh, there, there's a there's a family story, a, fam a legend or a uh, rumor, I guess you should say. And, we, and this is not we don't want to go on record and say this is exactly what happened, but we, we we've yeah. heard that this might be what happened. Yeah, um, one of those elder cousins, um, that the one that actually said, "Yeah, I know all about that." She said that it was reported to her that it was an accidental shooting, and that her grandfather, the son of the man who was fatally shot was actually coming to his dad's rescue um, and ended up shooting his dad instead. Like the two men were fighting and you know, right. get all, you know hey, get, you know, boom, and he actually shot his own dad instead of the, the other guy. So yeah. like I could say that's a rumor, you know, we don't want to go on record of that, but, but uh, the, the, a lot of times in family histories, there's some truth to a lot of those things, you know, yeah. but uh, it's definitely not something that they would be going around and brag. Now, one of the things I wanted to bring forward here is you said you asked this one, asked this one, asked this one. These are elderly people in your family. Yeah. The, all these people didn't know, but just one did. Now, imagine right. you didn't do that. This whole story, this here on the creek side, didn't, doesn't exist. Yeah. Nobody knows about that. Now your ancestors are going to know that or your descendants are going to know this story yeah. about uh, how he was shot right here on the, on the riverbank here, or the creek bank, uh, forever. So I think that's really neat. What's it like to come to a spot like this of your own ancestor that uh, lived, walked right here and uh, unfortunately had a, such a tragic event? You know, it's a double-edged sword, you know, it's sure. kind of, oh, you know, kind of neat. You know, you're in land yeah. that your your family owned, you know, and your three times great grandmother lived here, you know, two times great grandparents lived here um, and all of those sorts of things. But then on the on the flip side of that, it's, it's a sad story. Sure. You know, so and the fact that you're like kind of reliving it is right. is, is, is a little surreal. Yeah, it really is. It yeah. really is. And uh, this is our last stop, uh, our last uh, video of today. Yeah. Now, all these eight videos, of course, will be edited. You know, other shots, you'll be able to see much more of the environments that are here, see some photographs and things like that. So make sure you check the look out for those. Make sure you like us on Facebook, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can see all our videos. And I want to give a shout out to the film crew that's here. The guys, you don't <laughs> see over here. You know, Absolutely. we've got Jordan Freshour, you know, it's our still photographer. Chris Carson is here and uh, Gabe and Garrett, they're, they're getting shots all around here. There's four guys that are shooting 
these videos that uh, are available. I want to give a good shout to those guys. I really appreciate all your hard work uh, for us that's helped us out. So um, is there anything else you want to say before we leave here? I think I'm good. I'm just thankful for everybody's uh, help along the way. It's, this is not, you know, my family's not special, right. you know, and there's there's family stories like this everywhere. Uh, I think your family's special. Everybody's family's special. <laughs> Everybody's stories need to be told. Absolutely. You, you know what I mean? It's a calling to bring out these stories, even if just, uh, you know, Joe Smith was a farmer out there for 50 years. I think he's got a story that we want to bring it to him. So yeah. thanks for bringing us out here, Amanda, and letting us yeah. be part of your people, your ancestry, your people. It's been a wonderful experience for us there. And I know there's a ton of people out there that uh, feel the same way. So, um, hey, if you'd like to see some, or you'd like to get some videos like that made of your ancestors, make sure you let us know. And hey, remember, family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.